Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the day I have been waiting for for so long. This is my small world auction box from Van Eaton Galleries. I got back from Modern Doll a week ago and I have been debating on just opening it for myself. Um, but I decided I would wait and open it on camera for you guys. I just haven't had the energy to do so. I've been playing catch up at work and so on and so forth. And so I have been dying, dying to open this box. I cannot wait to see what's inside. I mean, I know what's inside, but I can't wait to get it in my hands. I'm so thrilled about it. Okay, so in here we've got, oh nice. I could actually use one of those. <laughs> I've got that. I've got my, oh. So with it comes certificates of authenticity. So check that out. So I've got the certificate of authenticity for the dress that I bought. Very cool. Authenticated by Mike Van Eaton. And then I've got the certificate of authenticity for the head as well. Now the head is going to be taken off of the base and I'm gonna have a body made for it. And very exciting news. You may know Sandy Anderson from Anderson Art Dolls. She reached out, they have a printer and they think they can make a body for me. So I'm probably gonna keep this guy here for about a week and then maybe send them off to her. I gotta figure out with her schedule like when they can actually work on it. I'm freaking out. Like, over, like I don't want peanuts going everywhere, but I think that's what, what I'm gonna have to do. So that's so exciting to me. And I saw her big, um, her big 3D printed dolls. Oh, there's the dress. Oh, there's peanuts everywhere. I'm just gonna have to sweep up after this because I can't. All right, here comes the head. Ah, look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna, Ooh, peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. So like, all right, I'm gonna put the box over here. I'm gonna save the box because like I said, I'm probably, wow. I'm probably gonna be sending most of this to Sandy. Um, so they can work on a head, but I'm going to sit down and open this stuff up. Okay. So here's the dress. I'll start with the dress. Sorry for the squeaky peanuts. I'll just, I'm going to deal with those shortly. Um, okay. So here's the, oh my gosh. And the other thing like I keep thinking about is I'm going to try not to get emotional actually while I'm doing this. I'm sorry if I do. So here's the lot number 953. It's a small world audio animatronic costume from the 80s to 90s, a wardrobe piece prepared for an audio animatronic figure of It's a Small World. Wow. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out, do I try to clean this stuff or do I keep it like with the park grime and all? I think I'm gonna keep it with just the park grime and all because obviously this was in Joel McGee's collection and he probably had it on display like this. So, oh my goodness. But it is a little grimy. I mean, it's got some part grime going on. Wow. Wow. I wonder what dress this was. So we've got, it's got the, um, it's got like the apron. There was, I said, there's a piece of Velcro there. So something obviously went over that. Probably like another overskirt, like maybe more colorful. And then I'll definitely need like something underneath. Look, yep. So it's got snaps underneath for like a tall skirt or something to go under. So maybe I can have something made like that. I don't know, like to give it more floof and flounce on the doll, but I want to send it to Sandy. If she's still able to work on the body, I want to send it to her and her family because they all work on this stuff together so that they have an idea of like what the body size has to be. I can't believe I got an outfit too. Wow. Wow. This is really cool. Like to have this here in my hands and it is grimy so like if you look at the arm there like that is it is dirty and grimy i don't know do i try to clean it what would you do like do you leave the part grime on there or do you clean it off like is that part of the story with these things kind of like with coins i know a lot of times like old coins you don't want to clean them off i mean i know this isn't a coin but okay here comes the big part all right so this is on a on a base on, and this is going to be really grimy. I've looked at the pictures extensively, zoomed in on them, just having a look at everything, and I know it's very grimy. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Like, do I try to clean it up? But I am going to have it done, um, like displayed full body. I don't want to display it on 
on a um like a, a wooden base like this. I am for about a week. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it here about a week to enjoy, but then from there it's gonna go. Oh my gosh, it's massive! It's so massive. Oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've only uncovered the top part of the head. It is very grimy, like very, very grimy. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit like, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. All right, let me, wow. Yeah, I almost opened this like in private to myself and then I was like, you know what? Everybody enjoyed the auction video so much. I feel like I owe it to everyone to open it in real time. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So there's the little tag. Um, the doll figure head was initially designed by legendary Walt Disney Imagineers Mark Davis and Mary Blair for installment in a show scene at Disneyland. Includes part of its plastic armature. Hmm, this doesn't say all this in the. It includes part of its plastic armature shell and silicone rubber skin with zipper for removal. The rear of the head notably retains its Africa show scene location indication. Um, oh, yeah. Reading SWA. So look at the head. Okay, let me get all this packaging off the table. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness go 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 wow so you've got small world and then i guess the a is for africa wow this is incredible i can't i'm like touching this like oh my gosh it is so grimy it is so so grimy so there's like discoloration here it looks like like there's there's a, a good bit of discoloration there and there's like all kinds of grime on the head i will probably try to clean it up a little but not much because like you can see the paintbrush strokes on the eyebrows like i do not want to ruin that so oh my gosh this is incredible i cannot believe this is in my house like wow <sighs> oh my goodness my goodness that is just amazing okay i wonder if these are the original eyes i wonder so i'm going to unzip the head because i'm desperate to know how this works so i'm going to unzip the head in the back and we're going to see um let's reveal this together i'll try to reveal it to the camera you guys are going to get to see it before i do let's see Oh my gosh. Oh, so it's just on like a, it's just on like a pole. It is screwed to this pole though. Okay, so you see how it's, there's a screw there in the top. So I'll have to unscrew that. But I think this plastic piece is actually part of the face. So it's like a part of the, the shell of the face. I think these are probably replacement eyes. I don't think they are original the way that they're yeah because well maybe like there may be no lids to this one you know because like they have lids because they blink I don't think this has like the lids and stuff which again probably why this is one of the more expensive ones to have wow so all I have to do is unscrew it from this pole and then the whole thing should just like come off because they've got the whole yeah they've got the whole head like screwed into this is like this is wild wow there's like stuff inside like this is like you see that so there's the like i guess i could peel the whole latex face away but it's kind of glued down but that just gives you an idea of like how it looks on the inside so i'll send this piece off Oh, am I going to be able to let this go? I think I will. I think I'll be able to. Maybe I can just send the measurements. But that's how it's... So I'm guessing that's how I'll have to put it on a doll head. Like I'll have to have the same like kind of a pole going into um, 
or like maybe a, some kind of rod that connects through the neck base like that up to the top, like it is now. I think it should be fairly, fairly straightforward to create a body for, I mean, well, I say that like I know how, I, I, no, I, not me, but I don't know. Wow, this is, this is wild. This is, I cannot believe I have this in my house. This is so incredible. Oh, but do I, do I try to clean it? Look, my hands are like, look how dirty my hands are just from like touching it. It's super grimy. But I have to be so careful because I don't want to, like the little nose is dirty, but there's a little bit of like blushing under the nose. You see your new friend, buddy? You see your new friend, Pimento? But more than likely this doll was a boy in the ride um, because there's not a lot of, um, of girls in the Africa. Like there are in the end scene, I think, but I don't think they have like girls in the, I don't know for a fact. I need to go ride the ride again, which as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that in September. So <laughs> I'll report back. When I'm there in September, I'm gonna take really detailed video and pictures of the dolls in the scenes just so I can get an idea. Cause what I'd like to do, boy, he's laying right in the middle of my new dress. Golly, you can't have nothing for cats. I want to get really detailed because I'd like to have one look um, like as a as a her with maybe this dress and, and I know it's not like probably the the um, it's not the African dress but I'll have one look with that dress and then maybe I can also have a little boy look with like the traditional um, the traditional outfit so actually look at what country because Africa is not a country it's a continent right so actually look at what countries are represented I believe that Kenya and Nigeria are represented in the rod and so maybe look at that and get a traditional outfit and like pick you know pick a country get a traditional outfit and also have like the, a little boy version so I can kind of switch it up from time to time so I can have more like ride authentic and then I can have like Allison character created so this is just I cannot believe this. I am gonna have to do some cleaning. Like I, I don't I'm just touching it. Like it's it's so grimy. And I know, you know, like I said, I know that it's probably. I might have to put a scarf around it, just around the neck, like where the neck joins to the to the body. I may have to wear like a scarf, which will be fine. I mean, that'll be cute. There's a way to make that cute. Um, or like a big necklace. A necklace would be cute. Could do like a, like a necklace piece. Or like a, ch it would probably have to be a choker, yeah, to cover. But anyway, oh wow, this I can't believe this is really, really amazing. I don't think the eyes are original though. I think these are replacement eyes. Like they look like regular doll eyes that you know we would put as doll collectors in our BJDs. But maybe they're original. I, I don't think so though. I, I really don't because they're, yeah, I don't think they are. They're nice, but I don't think they're original. They're acrylic, they're acrylic eyes. But anyway, I can't believe it's here. So I'm going to display it for maybe a week or so on this. I'm gonna reach out and just see if they still are able to kind of work with me and, and work on a body. She's probably very busy right now after Modern Doll because she sold a bunch of um, her pixies and she's got to, I think, do some stuff with them. But I'm just hoping um, that when she, I'm hoping that, that it's going to be really cool when it's done. I know it's going to be cool when it's done. Like, I, I don't even have to hope. It's cool like it is right now, right? But I'm just, I cannot believe this. It's really incredible to have this. I got to get a wig. So I think I'm gonna get a child's wig. I'm gonna look for a child's wig. I would really love to have somebody make me like an exact replica of the wig on the ride, which is like a yarn wig, but I don't even know who to reach out for that. And I don't I don't have a fortune to spend right now either. I gotta, the body's gotta come first. That's gotta be like the, the top priority. This is so incredible though. But yeah, very grimy. So gotta work on getting this cleaned up. But anyway, guys, <sighs> Whew. I'm very like, I don't, oh, this is, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
I'm so happy right now. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I will keep you updated on the progress of how the doll is coming along. Um, this is just amazing, really. So yeah, thanks for those of you who watched the earlier video and were cheering me on. I'm like, I'm so, I can't, I just can't believe like this is real right now. Like this is really here. So anyway, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louise's Knitnacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!